In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these planner bands that you put around your planner to keep them closed. So if you want to learn how to make these, just stay tuned. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cute little planner bands. They're just made out of an elastic headband. Um, so here are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need an elastic headband, which I'm going to show you a couple of options you can use. There's this kind here that has the tie knot at the end, which they are extremely stretchy. Now, I get these from the Dollar Tree, from Walmart, from the dollar stores. Um, so yeah, you're going to need a headband, so you can use one like this. I've also used some that are like this, that are just the elastic style uh, with no clasps. You can use one of those. You can also go to Hobby Lobby and in their children's headband section, you can get the ones here that have the little, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, it has this little uh, ribbon area here that you can put clips in like hair bows. You can also use those. I got this one that is also a headband from Hobby Lobby. This one does not have the clip, um, the little extra ribbon that you can put a head hair bow in but this one's really cute so I got that one and then of course you guys seen the glitter ones that I showed you in my Michaels haul you can also use one of these so you're gonna need a headband any kind of elastic stretch style headband will work you're also gonna need a glue gun some glue sticks and then any kind of embellishments you want to add to your planner. Now my embellishments I like to use all different kinds. These are just some that I had in my stash and I have a lot more. These are uh, jewelry pennants. Um, you can pick these up at Michaels, Walmart, Hobby Lobby. Go through your jewelry stash. If you have broken earrings, broken necklaces, anything of that nature, you can use those as well. Um, for today, I've got a couple of beads like these. These are my um, cross beads that I had in my uh, bead stash. And then I also have some cute little rhinestones here that I may add to some. So yeah, that's what you're going to need. You're also going to probably need a pair of scissors just to be on the safe side. In case you need them, go ahead and grab them and have them nearby. So if you go ahead and grab your supplies, we'll get ready to start this planner band. All right guys, go ahead and pick out the band that you want to use, which I'm just going to use this um, designed one here, and then pick out the embellishment one you want to use. Now in the previous video you guys seen this embellishment, it had the little holes up here that you can put on a necklace and then it had a dangling pearl right here. I just went ahead and cut those off because I'm not going to use those, so you can take all that and just set it aside. Now is a good time to go ahead and plug in your glue gun, have it warming up because you're going to be needing it shortly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan out how I want this to look. Now this headband has a, a sewn area here. I'm just going to take and cover that just like that. So if I'm going to use a different kind of band, like say I'm going to use one of these, you're going to need to take this apart by undoing the knots. And then I'll show you guys how to do one of these as well. So you'll take it apart just like that. And what I normally do is if it's uh, bent a lot at the ends, I usually will take and cut a couple, uh, about half an inch off. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, if you're using one of those that has the knotted ends, cut this so it's straight. I will usually take this and I will glue it down just like that to where it crosses. So you're going to glue it down at the ends. You're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this part and you're just going to glue it to the very top and that will be what that band will look like. And I will throw on this cute little uh, embellishment here. So let's go ahead and get started with this. 
Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and glue this together. As you can see, this is the one that I, um, that came with the little knot at the end. I went ahead and undid the knot and went ahead and cut off about half an inch on each end just to get rid of this uh, where it wrinkled up from where it was knotted. So you won't need that, you can get rid of it. Next I'm going to grab my glue gun and I'm going to put just a enough glue on the end here and you want it to cover that entire end. I usually do about half an inch of glue and then I'm going to take this back side of the other end and I'm just going to adhere it together and I always kind of push down on mine just to make sure that I have a good secure uh, a good securing glue hold here. So while I'm letting that cool, I'm going to go ahead and grab my other band that I was going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere the uh, backing to the head to the band. Now this, like I said earlier, is a necklace pendant that I got from Michaels a few years back. It's been in my jewelry box. I don't wear it that often, so I figured it would be cute for a planner band. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this band where it is sewn together and I'm going to add some glue to it. And you, you want a good amount of glue just to make sure that it does get a good adhering. So now that I have that done, I'm going to take, turn this around and make sure that it is reading the right way that I want it to. And then I'm just going to push that down into that glue. And there is that one done. Pretty cute. So now that we've let this one cool down, we're ready to put the embellishments on it. Now you can choose any embellishment you want. The embellishment that I choose is just a flat back um, style, one that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, about a year ago. Like I said, most of this stuff that I'm using for embellishments has been in my uh, bead boxes that I used to make jewelry with and I just don't do it anymore. So I have tons and tons of beads. So I'm going to put some glue right at the edge of the where the two ribbons meet. And I'm, like I said before, I'm going to put a good amount of glue. And then I'm going to adhere this little embellishment to the planner band. And I'm going to push down making sure that there is an even amount of pressure to where it glues down evenly. So there is that planner band. Now, if you wanted to add little rhinestones like the ones I have here in this bag, you can just put small dots of glue along here and then you can just adhere the rhinestones to it there. But yeah, pretty simple enough, easy to do, and it makes your planners just look really cute when you put them on. So we're gonna test this out. So I grabbed my Mambi planner, and we're gonna use this one first. And what you'll do is you'll just slide it around, and it just keeps it closed. So yeah, too cute. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope this tutorial helped you guys out with your uh, DIY planning uh, materials. And until next time guys, happy planning from my house to yours. We'll see you in the next video.